Thank you. And so uh, when I first said to Dave, we were chatting about the preliminary ideas about the center, I said, oh, well, the first thing is it, it needs to be preschool through 12th grade. And I remember Dave, who's always so eager, he said, well, we're kinder through seventh now. And uh, so we kind of thought, well, OK, that'll come. And Dave, you can't imagine my joy when the groups who volunteered to present tonight are uh, they're sophomores in high school. So uh, just like that, we accomplished our goal. And I'm so proud of you and uh, of Casey Warner and these amazing students. So they're going to come on down. And they've been instructed to be at the podium so that the camera catches. We're going to publish this on our YouTube channel. And we want to make sure to get the students' faces I promise we didn't set this up, but isn't it delightful that it's an all-girl AP science team? <laughs> great. So they're going to introduce themselves, and they've got great research to share with you that they've conducted right here. And they do happen to be from Skyline High School. I'm Olivia. I'm Rajega. Katie, I'm Stephanie Smith, I'm Gabrielle Mack. Hi, so we're from Skyline High School and we're taking a course called AP Environmental Science. And just a few weeks ago we came to the site and looked to see if the ecosystem was healthy. Okay, so one thing we did to look at the ecosystem and to see if it was healthy was to look at the biodiversity in the species. So we did that by doing things like citizen diversity, which calculates all the species. And so expanding on what Regina said and what Katie said, um, we came to the site just a few weeks ago. Um, and, and what we did is we explored for a little bit, and then we picked a specific area within the site that we wanted to study more in depth. And within that site area, we surveyed all the species and then we sort of took qualitative and quantitative information about each one to give a baseline for what we want to see as this project goes forward for keeping the biodiversity the same way it is now or improving upon it. And Olivia can tell you a little more about that. So to learn a little bit, a little <laughs> bit more in depth, we did a quadrat study. We did two in our chosen area. A quadrat study is where <laughs> is where you take a hula hoop and you place it on a random spot in the on the ground and then you count every species and the number of every species within that hula hoop. You can then plug these numbers into the Simpsons Diversity Index, which is an equation that gives you the overall biodiversity of the land. So our biodiversity was around 80%, which is pretty high. So our ecosystem that we looked at was healthy. Two mics, sorry. <laughs> um, so with all this being said, what we um, look forward to and hope for is that students will be able to come back here and they'll be able to study the ecosystems and um, see how uh, it was affected by the development of the environmental education um, system, uh, school. And um, we also want to thank Ms. Warner and uh, Mr. Siegel for like giving us the best experience. I can still remember uh, Mr. Siegel for um, winter survival and like I was the one girl that was crying. It was so cold. And I'm like, I want this to be over. And Mr. Siegel helped me through all of that. He's like, it's okay, we got this. And we did a whole bunch of fun stuff. And I just want to thank Mr. Siegel so much. I remember you from so many field trips. I also want to thank Ms. Warner. This is the second time I have her this year. I had her for my freshman year. And she's helped me so much through science. I remember when I first came to high school, I'm like, I don't like science at all. Oh my gosh, so much work, so much work. And Ms. Warner helped me through all that. It's not so much work, you just have to put effort towards it and want to be there. So I'd like to thank both of them for that. Aww. So 
much. I am so excited. You don't, I just left work to get here. I work in the National Wildlife Federation, and we are always, always looking to find new ways to make science and conservation and sustainability attractive to you all. We need you all more than you could ever know. The jobs are waiting for you, and so are your own creative opportunities. It isn't always a job, like it was in my day. You all are creating your own opportunities, your own apps. We need science apps, we need water testing apps, we need all kinds of things. And so I'm just so excited to see you here. Please keep up your work. Are you planning, the question is, are you planning to stay in science? What will all of you get down? <laughs> Word or two with what area of science you're interested in? Um, I'm not sure what area of science that I'm interested in. Um, I just know that, like, Miss Warner, again, she's made me, like, interested in it. Because at first, like I said, I wasn't really interested in it. I thought I wouldn't like it. But I want to explore more of science, so I'm not really sure which, um, where I want to be. But, yeah, you I'm going to keep on continuing. Mm -hmm. So I'm involved with Skyline High School's um, health and medicine magnet. So at the beginning of the year, I thought that the field that I really wanted to pursue was biomedical science and biomedical technology. But this AP environmental science course has really piqued my interest in environmental science. So I don't know where I'll end up, but I really enjoy it. Um, like both of them, I'm not exactly sure, but maybe medical or environmental. So. <laughs> Uh, so I had a discussion about Ms. Warner with this because I wanted to be an English major, but I figured out all my life I really, really love science. So what she suggested is that we need more people in the field who can like make articles and like write about the things that we need. So why not do both? <laughs> I am really interested in fashion design, so if I were ever to go into that field, I would be really interested in focusing on making clothes that are sustainable and good for the environment because so much waste comes from the fashion industry, and that would be a good thing to improve on. So you are so impressionable. I'm just, wow, you've just wowed me the whole time, and you're so articulate and so, in, you know, involved in what you're doing. I can see that you really enjoyed it. I learned a lot because I didn't know science was not my major, okay? <laughs> <laughs> so I learned a lot just by listening to you know, give out your report. It's just, we're in good hands. Yes. Our future is in good hands. Thank you so much. You've heard the word, the, the phrase, of work hard, play hard. So it's clear that you're working hard and that you have a vision for how you want to in the future. But it's also really important to make environmental sustainability fun so that it ignites that passion in other people. And I know the teenagers are especially good at finding ways to have fun. So in addition to your project, if you think of ways that we can make this place or our curriculum ignite the passion in other students in really fun ways, would you please pass that along? I have to commend you. Um, so just to be clear, in our packet we have two presentations, the Freeman Site Ecosystem and then the APS Biodiversity Project. You guys are representing both? Okay, all right, that, thank you, it's very clear. Um, I want to commend you on the common toad flats. I have this particular, I'm a master gardener and I have this plant in my yard and I never knew where it came from, what it was, <laughs> so thank you. Um, I didn't know how to treat it, treat it as a weed or not, but I see you have on here, for those of you who haven't seen it, they've done these nice pictures. Um, would you scientists consider this a weed or a flower, I should say? <laughs> as someone who uh, worked on those slides, uh, <laughs> I'd say, I mean, it's been with you so long. <laughs> I love and it's neat. It's neat. Oh, very good. Gabrielle, do you have an opinion on it? Um, no. <laughs> okay. so, so much, thanks. Well, thank you very much. We're really inspired by your work already, but most importantly, your future and the potential that you bring to this program. So we hope you'll continue to stay engaged. If you, depending on where you go, there's um, a couple things I would just suggest you look out for. One is 
know the University of Michigan has this program, Women in Science and Engineering, called WISE, but I'm guessing many universities have something similar. And then, of course, our environmental and engineering um, program in school at the School of Natural Resources here is profound. And one of our parents on um, one of the advisory committees, of course, is a faculty member there. So it's not to say that you might necessarily go there, but there are similar things elsewhere, depending on where you go. And they're great opportunities to continue to explore um, as, as you kind of hone in on what you really love, because you're probably a few years away from finding that thing yet. But the, it's amazing, the potential, and it's so exciting to have you all here with us this evening. So we will let you go so you can study and <laughs> really do well on your AP test tomorrow. But we want to thank you so much for taking the time to be here and be part of the celebration. Hopefully you can see by the people that are here, um, and a lot of us have been on this journey a little bit around science and the environment. So to see you and what potential you all offer and bring with you is just truly a privilege. So thank you, make good use of it, and um, do your best tomorrow. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.